Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today I just wanted to show you this journal that I finished. I was asked to make a botanical nature type journal and I happen to have this book of Heidi. It's from 1954 I believe and I just thought it just looked so nature like with the flowers and the colors and whatnot. So I went ahead and I used that as a cover for this book. On the end I did a cross stitch spine. The spine was pretty broken up on the book so I made a cross stitch in greens and yellows. And there is a large dangle kind of with grayish beads. To kind of, I thought it went well with the rays in the back of the journal. Looks like so. The dangle does just come off. So I will just take that off just so it doesn't bang and crash. So the closure is just a green ribbon. So this is a custom order and I really hope she likes it. So hopefully I'm in frame. Okay, let's go inside. And I made a botanical nature digital kit for this. So that's what I've used. I will leave some links. The inside cover, some lace. I did put some Ada cloth on the spine on the inside as well. So it's nice and sturdy inside this envelope. If I can get it out, is a postcard from the kit. And one of the pages from the kit. On this side, I just put this little tag. Somebody sent me that. It's really, really cute. So I put it in there. Here, there's just a couple little goodies. From, uh, I think it was uh, some kind of card game for that one. And here's a little bag. And inside is, you could use this as a bookmark, or they're actually stickers with dried flowers in them. Some pages, here's a tag. And this was just the title page in the book, so I just tore it out and put it there. One of my paper clips, I have some of these for sale on Etsy. I'll leave a link to those two if I remember. A postcard from the kit. Here's a page from the kit and I just put a piece of uh, gold ribbon down there. I thought that looked really good. This is the all the backs of the digital kit I printed using one of my eco dyed paper digital kits so I'll link that to so, and just lots of odds and ends of papers. Here's a little bag. Here's another thing, just a little piece, um, one of the chapter titles out of the book. So I thought that was a nice little saying. And this just flips open. And in here there's just a journaling card, which, or a tag, I should say, which is in the kit page from the kit. Here I just used a little picture from the book. And in here, I guess this is also in the kit. It's just a kind of a giant tea card I stitched around it. A little gift certificate, butterfly paper. I tried to use lots of odds and ends of paper. Some of my hand stitching. Um, there's tons of room to journal or to do mixed media on or something. There's a page from the kit. I love that page. One of my eco dyed papers. Here's just some trim and in this little pocket is one of the envelopes. And inside I just folded up a piece of one of the pages just for journaling space or other goodies. I do tend to make my journals um, with lots of writing space and more eco-dyed paper. 
one of my book plates. Just a couple things for me to hold in books. Another page with the gold ribbon. Just a little tuck envelope in the kit with just a piece of paper in it. Just for, oh, I forgot to distress that side. Gonna put that aside so I'll remember to do that. Here is just a little flip. There is three tea cards in here. These are all in the kit. And then this just flips up and down and then you can do some more journaling in there. Just a little collage thing, more eco dye paper. I really like how this digital kit turned out. It turned out really good. And a couple pages from the kit. And then here's just a little piece of paper. I put a doily on there. And then inside that I have three little tickets. So you could easily make something from those tickets. Now page. These were really cute. Um, I'm not sure where I got them from, but I thought it just kind of went with this journal. And so I made it into a pocket. There's some of the jars. Lots and lots of different papers. Some more of that gold trim. Map pages, another page from the kit. Some more of my hand stitching. There's a bookmark and another bookmark, and again one of the chapter things from in the book. And a paper kit kit. Ah oh, a paper clip from one of the labels that is in the kit. Just put a couple Brad's in there to hold on a couple little chunks of lace. And just a little piece of lace and trim. Um, that was a gift from somebody. I really wish I could remember who sends me stuff, but I have a hard enough time remembering my name some days. And again, another piece from the book. More gold trims. More hand stitching. And here is just a little belly band. This is a paper clip that is just on there. And then this actually flips open so you can do some hidden writing in there. A couple of tags from the kit. I actually like how this belly band turned out. I can see doing more of those in the near future. Another little picture from the inside the book. So here is just a little pocket using some Edith Holden. Inside is a bookmark and a tag. This also opens up. Mm. More hand stitching, more gold ribbon, a couple of the pages I had to reinforce because it was where the book was taken apart and I just wanted to add some extra strength. Here's a little thing that I made just by wrapping the thread around. I don't know how well you can see this in here but I used the metallic threads and copper and a greenish black. So it turned out kind of cute. And these are just tucked in there. Just a couple little embellishments that you get from the kit. Another postcard from the kit. More hand stitching. Another one of my paper clips. And here is a little envelope. There's nothing in there. Um, and actually, this was gifted to me as well. I'm going to have to try and keep track somehow. Uh, 
always amazes me when uh, people, oh, I got this from so-and-so and that from so-and-so. And I'm just always amazed on how they can remember. So here's another little um, bag that you get in the kit that opens up like so. And inside is a tag with lots of goodies tied to the top. And all those goodies kind of stand out at the top of the book when it's closed. I like how these pages turned out in the kit. And this I just, there was a, ended up making a little rip in the paper there. So I just glued on a little piece of Edith Holden page just to cover that up. Of course, more of the hand stitching. And here is a business card as well as one of the large tea cards in the kit. Tea card there. And then that just flips up and you can do some writing, etc. in there. Almost to the end. And here's another one of those cutouts that had lines on it. And inside there is a label from the kit and a jar. And then on this side, I made this little bookmark into a belly band. And in there is two of the large tea cards that are in the kit. And I just stitched with some um, clear type thread. So, I don't know if you can see it, the thread kind of sparkles. So they turned out kind of cute. And in the back page is an envelope with one of the postcards. And then this is just the copyright thing from inside the book. Um, I did look those numbers up and I'm pretty sure it was 1954 if I remember right that the book was done. So I hope she likes this journal. If she doesn't like it, then it will be in my Etsy shop. So, um, yeah, if it's not in the Etsy shop, then she wanted it. Um, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you like this journal. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.